One interesting behavior of waves that has no analog for vibrations is refraction. And the reason there's no analog is because this is a feature of moving through space, a feature of having a velocity, and in fact of changing the velocity. So it turns out that sometimes when waves travel through a medium, the character of the medium will change. For instance, with a wave and a rope, if the density, the mass per unit length changes, that will change the speed. If the speed of a two-dimensional wave changes, then we can get some very interesting results. Here we see a wave that's moving from a region where its speed is relatively high, that's the top part of the diagram, to a region where the speed is much slower, that's the bottom part of the diagram. And the blue line shows the interface between the regions where the speed is high and the speed is low. Now when the wave crosses the barrier, the crest crosses as a crest, the trough crosses as a trough, so the period of the wave stays the same. The wave speed changes, that means that the wave length has to change. The wave length is longer where the speed is faster and it's shorter where the speed is slower. The factor by which the wave length changes is exactly the same as the factor by which the wave speed changes. Now here we see a very interesting result. We're showing waves as lines of crests and troughs. So these are kind of like waves of swells coming into the shore where the wave crosses this interface. Not only does the speed change, but the actual direction of the wave changes. And you can see why that is. As a wave crosses the barrier, the part on the left is going to cross the barrier sooner and slow down sooner. The part on the right is going to be traveling farther at the fast speed, so it's going to have moved farther ahead. So the direction of the wave fronts will change correspondingly. We're not going to worry about the mathematical formula for that here. What's the point of this? Why do we care? Well, it turns out that Refraction of light waves is very important for understanding how lenses work. In fact, lenses work entirely because of this refraction of waves. That's how a lens or a prism is able to change the direction of light that goes through it, is because it's changing the speed. Here's a still picture of waves washing onto a shore. These waves out in the open ocean were straight and had the same distance between them. And you see as they're coming into this irregular shore, there's the headlands where the water is a bit shallower and the bays where the water is a bit deeper. In the deeper water, the wave speed is faster and the wave can rush into the shore. And you get this curved shape now to the waves from the refraction. Another effect of this is that you see as the waves come in, the shape of the wave changes so we're concentrating more energy onto the headlands and less energy onto the bays. This effect will, over time, straighten out a coastline. And we've already talked about that for water waves when we learned about geology.